Can you imagine Max Verstappen dropping out of the F1 world to start his own car brand? Well, you might be surprised how that would turn out. The same happened for Ferrari. Let's dive in the story of how Enzo Ferrari quit his racing career to start a brand that would one day be worth $4 billion. I think you know who this is? You're right, it's Enzo Ferrari. Often compared to German football player Masut Ozil, who coincidentally was born just two months after Enzo's death. Well, we say it was a coincidence, but who knows? Born on February 28, 1898, Enzo Ferrari had a passion for cars early on in his life. When he witnessed Felice Nazaro win at the Circuito di Bologna in 1908, he knew he wanted to be a racer, but he had to put that thought on hold. Italy at that time got involved in World War I, where was selected for the Italian Army's 3rd Mountain Artillery Regiment. In 1916, his life changed when both his father passed away. Also, his older brother got sidelined by the flu epidemic. Enzo went back to his dream of becoming a racer, offering his skills to Fiat in Turin. His first job in the car industry was after the war, being a test driver for the car brand CMN, located in Milan. CMN was known for turning old parts of Italian trucks into passenger vehicles for the Italian people. After his first job in the car industry, he finally got a chance to make his competitive debut in the world of racing. In 1919, he raced in the Parma Polio di Bersetto Hill Climb Race. On his debut, he became fourth. Not bad for a 21-year-old boy. His next race came in the same year, on the 23rd of November, where he competed in the famous Targa Florio race. He finished ninth, even though he was forced to withdraw due to a leak in his car's fuel tank. This was seen as a great achievement given the fact most of the cars had to drop out due to mechanical errors. The Targa Florio race was known to test its driver's durability and strength, and it was safe to say that Enzo Ferrari had shown his potential. Due to his achievements, he got offered a job at Alfa Romeo. In 1923, he won his first Grand Prix at the Savio Circuit in Ravenna. However, his best season came a year later in 1924 where he won three races. His success led him to a new dream, getting into a managerial role and helped develop new cars for Alfa Romeo. He led his team to great success with star drivers Tazio Nuvolari and Giuseppe Campari. This is where he started to use the famous horse logo that you see on the Ferraris of today. The inspiration for the logo came from Francesco Baracca, who used to logo on his plane. In 1939, Enzo left Alfa Romeo to start up his own car brand, Auto Avio Costruzioni. Now I know what you're thinking, didn't he make Ferrari? He did. But because of contracts in the racing world, he wasn't allowed to produce cars under his own name for four years. In fact, during World War II, his company was forced to produce weapons for the Italian army. This was until the factory got bombed. At that point, Ferrari decided to move his company to a different city, rename it to Ferrari Spie, and start the production of cars in 1947. He wanted to battle dominant Alfa Romeo by developing his own cars and establishing his own race team. With this choice came great successes in the racing world, but they came with problems too. Ferrari was known for pitting drivers against each other. He did this to boost their will to win, which it did, but it also caused lots of fights and problems within and without Ferrari. Let's just say, he wasn't loved for his management style. In 1958, Ferrari produced the first consumer market car, the Ferrari 250 GT, the V12 powered tourer. Real success started to come when Fiat invested in Ferrari, making them able to produce more cars. With cars like the Ferrari 308 GTB and the GTS, Ferrari started to get a great return. These cars were closely followed by the 328 and the 365 Daytona, which was odd since the cars were getting amazing results in a time of oil shortage. This was also the time the legendary V12 and V8 Ferrari motors were introduced into the cars, giving the drivers speed in their daily life. Ferrari is still famously known for the specific sound of their engines. The turnaround to a high-end car brand came in 1984 when Ferrari produced the Ferrari Tessarossa. It would be the most famous Ferrari of the 20th century if the Ferrari F40 didn't appear. The F40 was used in the popular TV show Miami Vice. The last car that Enzo Ferrari oversaw in his life was a special one. It was the Ferrari aforementioned F40. This was the first car in the world that broke the 200 miles an hour mark. On August 14, 1988, at the age of 90, Enzo Ferrari sadly passed away. There was never a specific reason stated for his death, but many suspect that it had to something with heart failure. 
As an honor to its founder, Ferrari named their newest model after his death, the Ferrari Enzo. The car was produced from 2002 to 2004. Now that you know the story, it doesn't sound so weird anymore to think that the likes of Verstappen and Hamilton will soon quit their beautiful careers to create their own luxury car brand. Thanks for watching, and as always make sure to like and subscribe to learn more about Ferrari.